welcome again to my channel. For everyone who's new, I'm the Vegan Bossa. Today we are going to be making a fantastic cake which is made with lots of fresh fruits and cream. This cake recipe is amazing and you are going to love it. Even it may look difficult to prepare guys, it is so easy that you will be amazed and I will give you step-by-step -step instruction in my video on how to make the perfect cake. And now let's prepare it. As first step, we are going to prepare the cake base. For this, we are going to need vegan puff pastry dough and some vanilla sugar. Place the puff pastry dough on the kitchen surface and then, with the help of a cake spring form, cut three circles, each one 7 inch or 18 centimeters. Take off the rest of the puff pastry dough and maybe you can use it later for other bakery creation. Take a baking tray and place the cake bases. With the help of a fork, prick the surface of the puff pastry circles. This is gonna help the steam to escape while baking because we are gonna need a thin and crispy pastry at the end. Then, pour some vanilla sugar at the top of the each base. This is optional to add more flavor. And when they are ready, bake them into a preheated oven to 425 Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes. As a second step, we are going to prepare the vegan pastry cream. For this, we are going to need half a liter of vegan milk, 40 grams of cornstarch, 80 grams of sugar, 30 grams of vegan butter, a pinch of vanilla extract, some saffron or turmeric for the color, and the zest of one organic lemon. Start by taking a mixing bowl and adding the sugar, the cornstarch and only the half of the vegan milk. Whisk it well until the sugar and the cornstarch will be completely dissolved. And then add a pinch of vanilla extract and the turmeric or the saffron to add some color to this cream. Meanwhile, add the rest of the vegan milk into a pan, add also the vegan butter and the zest of the lemon to it and bring it to a boil over low-medium heat and then add the mixture that we have prepared before and whisk it continuously until become a thick cream like you see in here. Then transfer the cream into a bowl to cool down. Cover the bowl with a plastic wrap and let the plastic wrap to touch the top of the pastry cream to avoid the creation of any film on the top. Afterwards, we are gonna prepare some vegan whipped cream with some vegan whipping cream, some sugar and some stabilizer, cream stabilizer. First, Pour the whipping cream into a bowl and whisk it until it creates soft peaks. Then add 40 grams of sugar and the cream stabilizer. And then whisk it again until it creates firm peaks. When the vegan whipped cream will be ready, add half of it to our vegan pastry cream and mix well with slow circular motions that both creams will be immersed into one incredible chantilly cream. Meanwhile, the bases for our cake are baked and ready so we can continue with the third step, start assembling our cake. Lay the puff pastry layer first and then add some chantilly cream, then add another puff pastry, 
and continue with the layers of chantilly cream and so on with the other pep pastry layer. Then put the vegan whipped cream in a piping bag and start coating the exterior and the borders of the cake. We are gonna start covering the top of our cake with whipped cream and then leveling it with a spatula. Then we are gonna continue doing the same around the borders of the cake. First using the piping bag and then with the help of a spatula giving a form to the cake. When you are ready, you can decorate the borders of the cake with some hazelnut crunch. And at the end, of course, we will decorate the top layer with some fresh fruits. Here you can be as creative as you wish. I have used some strawberries, some grapes and then some circles made with kiwi and another one made with fresh orange like you see in here. But you can use also other fruits at home, whatever you have at home and whatever you like the most to have on top of your cake. And after decorating it, put it in the fridge for one hour to set down and enjoy it. This is a really incredibly delicious cake with fresh fruits and with lots of cream. I hope you really enjoyed this cake recipe and if you like the video, please don't forget to put a thumb up and to share it and to subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, until the next time!